the 19th century he would have been a great composer. In this century, he can put it all together. The great all-rounder, ladies and gentlemen, Don McLean! person that people see on stage, and I've been doing this for more than 40 years now, is really an invention, uh, a creation. And I fuse old-fashioned popular music with rock and roll, rockabilly, and rock and roll from the 50s, as I remember it, with folk music. The Europeans call Don McLean's style being a troubadour, um, that you, you know, carry your guitar or musical instrument and you travel and you sing and you don't need to be pigeonholed or put into a particular box. I just wanted what I knew and what I loved and I put it together somehow. So when you hear Vincent or American Pie or Castles in the Air or any of these songs, it has these elements all together. Many people have said that I'm lost in the 50s and in a way I am. I always go back there and it's what makes me feel calm and happy. Whatever you plan to do, we're ready to back you up. You boys ride on back to bar 20 and tell them not to worry. Goodbye. As a friend of mine said, growing up in New Rochelle, the way we grew up, you knew that if you did the right things, everything would be okay. But, you know, I was this misfit from day one. This is America. A land where dreams can be A land where hope is strong And men are free This is America A land of bluer skies A land of brotherhood Where mountains rise When I was growing up, it was very highfalutin. Down the street from me, there were very, very wealthy people that had Tudor mansions that were on the same street as my house, which was a little frame house. My parents were wonderful people, but they weren't terrific parents. They didn't really interact with me. I was kind of an accident. I was this little child in this house of very old people who raised one daughter and really wanted to, you know, go on to their gardening and their bridge and stuff, and all of a sudden, here I was. I wanted to please my parents, but, you know, I was not a good student. I was ill quite a bit with asthma and pneumonia, so I would go to school for a while and have a relapse and be home. The only option I had was to get lost in my own fantasy world, which was the record player and the radio. It got to the point where I felt I could climb into the speaker and live inside that thing. When I was feeling well, that's when all the fantasies would kick in. I'd be in the woods, dressed like a cowboy. My father was a pretty cool guy in some ways. He moved us to where there was 60 acres of forest. I just remember loving being in the woods and loving the smells and the activity and the quiet. It only takes a patch of woods for a child to change their whole attitude toward nature. The kind of parents that I had and the plans that they had for me, which were basically very limited ideas about what people could do or what people should do. So you just had to be a proper person socially. You had to do okay in school, maybe a little better than okay. You had to go to college and you'd find the right girl and you'd find the right job because they were all out there waiting for you and you'd come back and you'd probably find a, a nice house to live in, in, you know, in Larchmont or something like that. If she asks you why, you can tell her that I told you that I'm tired of castles in the air. I've got a dream. 
I want the world to share in castle walls. Just lead me to despair. About 1956, I saw on the cover of TV Guide a picture of Elvis Presley. When I saw that guitar and I saw him, I said, that's for me. You know, if I could just learn to play the guitar because I could sing. I was born singing. And I thought to myself, if I can learn to play that thing, I'll be the superhero I want to be. Save me from all the trouble and the pain. I know I'm weak, but I can't face that girl again. Tell her the reasons why I had a fantasy as a child and dreamed of being a certain thing. The guitar is like my mask or my cape. Once I suit up, I'm Don McLean. Express the feel of sunlight in the morning in the hills. Away from city strife, I need a country woman for my wife. I'm city born, but I love the country life. For I will not be part of her cocktail generation partners waltz, devoid of all romance. The music plays and everyone must dance. I'm bowing out. I need a second chance. And if she asks you why, you can tell her that I told you that I'm tired of castles in the air. I've got a dream. I want the world to share in castle walls. Just lead me to despair. My father wanted me to get on an athletic program because I think he was kind of worried and disappointed that I was in the house and sick a lot. I took swimming lessons and I got on the swimming team. The coach was a coach at West Point. So it was a whole military sort of environment around the place. That was the whole idea originally of the club itself was to get young men and women together and build character and all that stuff. At the end of the summer, there was this thing called the rock swim. There would be literally a sprint from the rock into the shore. It was absolutely brutal. And when I got out of the water, I was never as tired and never as completely spent in my whole life. And I started to realize that suddenly this sickness that had been dogging me all my life was starting to leave because I was using my lungs. Going in the world, going up Cripple Creek to see my girl. Going up Cripple Creek, going in the run, going up Cripple Creek to have a little fun. Music was like the sun in the sky. Everything else belonged to a shell that I was sloughing off year by year. My father was terrified because of the fact that I was not interested in school, not interested in anything but music and this is the last thing in the world he ever wanted. Oh. 